Heat TV presents Homework Hotline, the after-school show that fuses learning with fun. Watch local teachers bring the classroom on air and online. This is Homework Hotline. My name is Pam Halstead and I taught science at Fortuna High School. My name is Rita McConaughey and I'm a math specialist with Northern United Humboldt Charter School and you're watching Homework Hotline. Yay, we're thank so Thank you happy for coming. To, yes, thank you so much. It's very cool. So we have a cool, great show today. It's, um, it's regarding uh, something about our planet and our planet is uh, celebrated on Earth Day, which is uh, April 22nd every year, which is cool. really nice, something that started in the 70s. And um, we're going to talk today about ecosystems, which, Rita, ecosystems are what? Ecosystem? What is an ecosystem? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I'm asking Rita this yeah. <laughs> without preparing her, okay? So don't worry about it. We're going to answer that question. Remember, I'm a math teacher. Yeah, so yeah, of course. eco would be like economy? E ecology. Oh, ecology. Don't no worry. No problem. It's great. Okay. And then a system is like a, a sort of a thing where a, a lots of things are put together to make a system. All right, cool. Let's okay. move on to this. First, let's talk about what we'll cover before we actually get to it. So we're going to take a look at the definition, importance, and structure of an ecosystem. And then what types of ecosystems do we have? And then what can you do to learn more about and care for local ecosystems, which is really cool because you can actually get outside and do a lot of stuff. So, so I see the background is that our redwood trees. It sure is. That's really cool. That is a forest ecosystem. So let's continue. Okay. All right. So this is a picture of sort of the the beginning. So, so let's look at the very bottom. So we have individual and we lead the ecosystem. It looks like we're going down, but let's start with the most simple thing, which is a single fish. Do you recognize that fish by any chance? Is that that's from Finding Nemo? Yes. It is a clownfish. Clownfish, that awesome. That is a clownfish, yeah. Do I and get to tell jokes too? Oh Just yeah. kidding. Oh yeah, please do. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead if you'd like. All right, so that is a, an individual and that's an organism. And an organism is anything that's alive. So it could be a plant, fungus, algae, or an animal. And a clownfish is an animal. So now let's take a look. And what do you see in the next uh, group of pictures there, or that picture? So more clownfish, and then it says population. So yes. population would be of just one particular yes. species or one particular. That can mate and produce fertile offspring. Okay. So they have to be able to do that very thing. Or are they aren't called a population? Yes. Thanks. Oh, nice. Oops. Cool. Oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so then community is what it what looks like we've what change have we made here so we have we have clownfish in the community and then other kinds of fish yes and then i also see plants come in sure there do. yes and starfish and rocks and stuff yes i think the rocks might might be they could be rocks it absolutely could be but it also could be a mollusk like a clam or okay. something like that and i'm only saying that because a community is all the living things in a particular area so it's all the living things, in, including angel fish and the blah, blah, the fish okay. and the seaweed and all that. Okay. And now for ecosystem. So the great big thing. Yes. You still have your clownfish and the population of clownfish. Mm -hmm. The other fish, the turtles this time. Yes. Plants. But now I see like the sand. Yeah, you do see the and sand. And the water. Yes. All those things that are the non-living parts of the ecosystem, of the, of the area. So we've got the living and the non-living, and there's the definition at the bottom. It's a community of interacting organisms and their physical environment. Okay. So it's, it's basically, for us, it's, it's the county of Humboldt and what we interact with out there in the environment. And so ecology would be the study of those systems? It is the study. It's the okay. study of basically our, our house is where the, it comes from oikos, which is a Greek word that means house. So it's the study of our house, which is the planet basically. Cool. Which is cool, yeah. All right, so now we go on. These ecosystems provide habitat. So here is an ecosystem. And there is habitat there. So let's see what we, what we see in this picture. Um, it's got a lot of different organisms. Huh? And you know what? It almost looks um, kind of Midwesty. In a way, there's, I see a wood duck 
which okay. is okay go ahead see what we're else so you see wood duck or is that that is no. a woodpecker woodpecker i'm Good. sorry cool. so wood duck there's wood, a wood duck you got it wood duck here? and that's a wood duck male and there's a female she's okay there she is okay cool, cool. and then there's um there's an interesting looking turtle maybe tortoisey turtley thing that looks more like a snapping turtleish. oh yeah i've seen snapping turtles before yeah i have too yeah. in iowa definitely and there's a red-winged blackbird up in the upper part there okay raccoons okay. we mm -hmm. have raccoons here yes it, would this be like crayfish rather yes, than... Yes, I'd say crayfish, definitely yep. than a lobster. Yeah. Yeah, it looks lobstery, but I know. because of the fresh other water. animals... Yeah, it's, it's in fresh water. It's not in, yeah. My parents just had a crayfish or crawfish feed the other oh, night. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it was kind of cool. Oh, my goodness, that's awesome. There salamander, is, yeah, go ahead. Maybe. Yeah, salamander. Then it looks like instead of a beaver over on the left side, that, that might be a muskrat, mm -hmm. which is something that swims in the water, but it's a like rodent that does that. So anyway... Every one of these has got a habitat that they're relying on. And if you're looking at this, and with your knowledge, that is general knowledge, you said it's not science knowledge, but habitat. What do you think of when you think of the habitat, like for the fish? What might be their habitat? Their habitat would be in the water? Yeah, it's in the water. That's it. It's where they live, basically. And that habitat provides the fish a way to survive. And so that's the next place we're going. Let's go there. Here we go. Okay. All right, Rita, you're going to be our, okay, I'll try. our writer. It's perfect. Okay. okay. So now we're going to look at what do, oh, do we have to pick a color? Or is, no, it's already black, isn't it's it? It's black. We're okay, good. thank yeah. you. <laughs> good. You're, you're in charge. Okay. <laughs> I'll All try. Right. So here we go. Let's start with animals. Okay. And we're just going to do animals and plants. We're not going to look at fungus and algae. Those are also living organisms, but we're just going to do the basics here. Okay. So what does an animal need to survive? Like what does the, the habitat have to provide? Go ahead. And I will uh, tell you yes or no. I will say food. I think it's a great start. Okay. That's right. Now, should we put that same thing under plants? Do plants need <coughs> the food? Plants need the soil and their food's in the soil? They totally do need the soil. So, but, uh, and not necessarily though, because they might be aquatic. So okay. they, do need, they do need nutrients though. Let's write nutrients. Oh golly, like how do I spell N-U-T-R-I-E-N-T-S. Okay, awesome. So we've got food, we've got nutrients. Okay. The thing is the plants can make their own food. So plants are really cool that way because of photosynthesis. So let's think, what else does an animal need? Like you wouldn't even be here. You could not continue to survive without this. Air? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Same what? plants need air too. They sure do. Yeah. But yes, for, okay. So air provides us with what very important gas? Oxygen. Yes, O2. And the two is little Low. and below. You got it. Yes, okay. absolutely. And Where? so do plants. They need O2 as well. It's confusing, but they do. They need oh, to I also... Thought, they I thought need they to, produced O2. They do produce O2, but they also need it. And CO2. Good job. And CO2. And Carbon that they take dioxide. in. Yes. Okay. Yes. And we get rid of it so we don't need it. But the plants need to break their food down, and oxygen is required for that. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we have food. We have air. We're doing pretty good. What else might we need? Um... Animals need protection. Shelter. Housing. Shelter. Let's say shelter. Okay. Yeah, nice. Definitely of some sort or another. So we're not just out there in the elements. Um, and plants plants need their need of sort of their own space, I think we might want to say. So, so a root system? Like or a, a, a place where they can grow and yes. Thrive. Yeah, so roots or what? Well, is? no, because that's what they have. But let's just write space. Space okay. for the roots to grow. Space for the plants to grow. Space? Yes. Uh, for growth. Growth. How's that? Perfect. Okay. Do animals now, need that too? Animals do need space for growth. Let's okay. please add that. Okay. All right, nice. All right, now um, let's say something lives in the North Pole versus something that lives on the equ in the equator. What mm. might be the main difference that's a physical factor between the North Pole and the equator? So North Pole can get really cold and equator can get really hot. Yes, and um, that's a measure of? Temperature? Yes. So Both animals need? and plants. They need a certain temperature, whatever okay. they are adapted for. So temperature. Yes. Okay. 
Are we running out of room? Or I are think we we're running good? out of room, but it doesn't matter because we're at the end. So we're, okay. we're good. So the habitat can provide all of these things. Yes. For survival of animals yes. and survival of the plants. Okay. Yes. And I'm just making sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, we forgot one thing with plants. Okay. So what are we missing for plants? They couldn't do photosynthesis without it. Oh, the sun. So we need Correct. to, what, what does the sun provide? Uh, uh, energy? I can't, yes, in the form of light. Great. Light, light energy. Light energy. Okay. Perfect. Good. Ooh. And that is correct. So I nice did get to teach science <laughs> yes. for a few, um, oh, neat. to middle school for a few, um, cool. two years. Awesome. So ener light energy. Yes. Light energy allows them to do photosynthesis. Okay. So that's cool. great. So this is what a habitat provides. And whether you get it from the, the air or, I mean, whether you get it from, well, the land, air, or the water, and it, it all depends. Do so. I have to put water? Um, oh my goodness, we forgot water. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna even be like. Yeah, please. I'm gonna make go it blue. blue you color. Totally do. I like Let's it. Let's see if this will work, and we'll do. Let's do both of them. We could go H two O, or we could just do. There we go. So water. That's everybody. Or H two. Yes. O. Yay. Hydrogen. <laughs> dihydrogen. Thank you. Oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Rita. Without water, we're, we aren't alive at all. So, okay. That's great. Cool. All right. We're going to now go back to our slideshow. Here goes. Okay. Okay, cool. So now we know, basically, that's it. Awesome. So we'll go now to, we're going to focus on an area that we're familiar with because we live in this state. Such a big state, too, oh you know? Gosh. So oh, many different I'm ecosystems. So many. In mm -hmm. fact, one of the very, sh fi f uh, by far the top, in the very top. It depends on which website you look at, because there's a website that says, it's California. And then there's a website that says, it's Alaska. And then the Alabama website says, it's Alabama. So, That's yeah. at the very top for the yeah. different ecosystems. Right, right, different ecosystems. And you Why have does to it have to be a competition? Can't I don't they know. all just be like? Because they want people to come visit, maybe for oh, a specific reason. OK, so but let's take a look. Okay. So uh, is, is it the biggest state? That's a question we're going to answer in a second. So you said it was big, and you're right. It's huge. It's, it's, a, it's a state that goes across different um, ecosystems. You oh know, like because we got mountains and desert, and we've got, it's you know, the crazy. ocean, and so like yes. there's, it, I don't we know. are so diverse. The word diverse means just a variety of stuff. Gotcha. So that question, does it have the greatest number? We already kind of answered that one. And then, what ecosystems exist in California? So we're okay. going to answer all those questions. All right, cool. This was shocking to me in terms of just sheer size because I thought, well, I know California is pretty darn big, and it is number three in big. Mm -hmm. So as far as square miles, area covered, Alaska it shrinks everybody to nothing because <laughs> gotcha. it's so huge. However, where is Alaska located? The thing is, Alaska also has tons of different ecosystems. It has mountains and right. uh, waterways, et cetera. But it's in a much colder climate, which mm -hmm. kind of tends to reduce the different numbers of animals. And gotcha. the most species rich places are like tropics the tropics like the amazon forest has the most of all but we don't we don't this is the united states so there's texas number two and there's the united i mean uh, california I, I like this picture because i haven't i didn't like when i think about alaska i don't think of it on top of the no. continental you know united you states you just see it way up there right? right and you can't you don't know this is a really gives you a good reference for the reality of and, it and even on a globe, you're looking at it at an angle, and so it yes. kind of looks fr smaller. But okay. Globes have a lot of distortion. Like you look at Greenland, it looks really huge compared to what it actually yeah. is. So. All right, so now, there, there right. you go, what yeah. you're just talking about. See, like taking this Alaska, right, mm -hmm. and putting it on here, <laughs> you wouldn't, uh, it's just it's proportionally, a it's a little thing. different. Yeah, and it's yeah. proportional, right. So I, I just wanted to show in this that um, in, t in terms of the latitude, and latitude has to do with um, north-south. Mm -hmm. And where uh, California is located versus Texas, Texas is down the lower latitude. Mm -hmm. And then there's Alaska, way the heck up there, where it's much colder. The Arctic Circle's located right. up there. So yeah. So if you look at the number of latitude Alaska covers versus Texas versus California, mm -hmm. a little bit different latitude. It is. Yeah, it, it's basically, I was looking, it's basically like 40 to 30, 40 to 30 about with the latitude there. 
And then uh, Texas is a little below 30, so into, into Mexico. Mm -hmm. that, that and I, the numbers for latitude, you're looking at the degrees, right? Yes, that's right. You're looking How at the degrees. How many here? So this was, oops, so sorry. That's okay. Let's just get to the one that we're at, this one. Okay. So, oh, we we're back one. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, let's go back. Thank you. Okay, so here's zero degrees. If you, you can't touch it. That's oh, okay. <laughs> that's what I'm if doing. If you touch it, it's a, no problem. <laughs> I'm hovering over yeah. the screen and it's, yeah, it's no, saying, no oh, okay. We, so way back cold. here, yes. you can see zero. <laughs> yes. Okay, I need my little pointing finger. Yes. Zero and then 15 degrees, yes. 30 degrees latitude, 45 degrees, 60 yes. and, and so on. Up that's to great. Yeah, that's right. At the very top, it'd be 90. Yeah, the, the pole itself. Yeah. Cool. Let's, let's keep looking at at our state here. Cool. Which so here is Eureka. Yes, we're at 41 degrees north. That's our latitude. Oh. Cool. And then you get down to San Diego, and that's basically really close to 30. It's a little higher than 30, like 32. So it is amazing how much area that a single line of latitude covers. It's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we'll keep going here. Oh, let's first look at the types of ecosystems, then we'll concentrate on California. Okay, okay there's okay. terrestrial, and so we're talking forest, grassland, desert, and tundra. Okay. Look at those. These are land-based. And then we've got water-based, and those are freshwater marine. Okay. And here we have an actual picture of each one of these. And let's see if we can pick, Rita, which ones we would find in the United, well, in the United States, yeah, except for let's let's uh, leave Alaska. Let's go continental United States, okay? So, so continental meaning yes. not Alaska, not Hawaii. You got it. The f the forty eight okay. states. Okay. Okay. Let's see. And I'm going to start in my corner here. Tundra cool. would be mountains. Tundra is is a uh, very cold. It basically has lichen as the base, and there, there's no okay. trees. It's so cold, there's okay. no trees. So that wouldn't be the United, the continental right. United States. That's right. Because I'm from South Dakota, and it gets cold, but it's not like there's still trees it's there, not right? Tundra, yeah. Yes. Okay, so not tundra. We do have frost there. I mean, it's like frozen soil. Oh, okay. Yeah. Caribou, reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Freshwater, yes. Mm -hmm. Marine. Sort of? Oh, no, absolutely, 100%, because it's right off of... It, the oceans on either side. It is sort of, because it's like... But it does, I mean, th th we go out a certain distance into the ocean. Gotcha. But, yeah. Um, desert, I'm not exactly sure, like, Have the you desert... you heard of the Mojave Desert? And that's, oh, yeah, California. that's Arizona, too? And, and yes, California, Arizona, Arizona, New okay. Mexico, California. So, yes, desert. Yes. I guess I just haven't been to the United States desert. Is no. Las Vegas... You got pretty deserty. Okay. Actually, LA initially was nearly desert. Okay. So yeah, without Savannah, the no though, right? That's right. Is, we're talking um, countries in Africa. Okay. okay. Um, grassland, yes, of the course. The prairie. Boreal. Boreal oh. forest is very, very cold. It's right like south of the tundra. So no. No, that like Russia. We're Canada. More. Yes, would Canada. Have boreal. Okay. Bingo. So we don't have tundra yes. in. Um, continental United States, and we don't have boreal forests. Mm -hmm. Do we? We have temperate forests. That's where we live. Okay. Yes. But we don't have tropical forests. No, we don't. We don't have southern. tropical rainforests, but we do have temperate rainforests, which they didn't include. But like, if you go up to Olympic National Park in Washington, that's mm -hmm. a rainforest, considered a rainforest. Okay. It's colder, but yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, let's see. Oh, yeah. Here just shows around the world where you'd find these. Okay. So let's see where your your tundra. Oh, the heck, it's way, way, northern. way. Why is it only northern hemisphere, you know, at the very Well, North there's Pole, Antarctica, which we left. I mean, there, and there, there, and I don't know. I think it's just snow covered. I don't think it actually covers, you know It's what I'm not saying? a tundra? No. Okay, okay, we have to actually get to, let's get to this right here. Um, I think I, oh yeah, good. So now we can go to our this next, yes. Page? Yes. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look. And would you like to, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Okay. I have blue color again. Is that all right? That's hey, Let's start over to on your side right there. Okay. Which is just basically showing you all the freshwater area in, in California. So this is one of the ecosystems, right? Freshwater. Okay. So if you were going to circle the areas of California that have water, what would you circle? Wherever there's a river. Oh, please circle the whole as much as you want. Yes. So, so go. like go. Just, this oh. little sea, all sure. these little rivers, yes. oh. these little rivers. You got it. 
Yes. Okay. Cool. Oh my goodness. Look at all. I know these it's, it's everywhere. Rivers, That's the Central Valley. It's crazy. Rivers, oh my goodness. I guess it's I could everywhere. Just go river. Yes. Perfect. Okay, you got it. So we have fresh water like crazy. Okay, now. So oh, you know what? There's a Mojave River. Oh yes. Let's not so, forget okay. that in the desert. I'm sure it's. Um, there we go. Not okay. Oh, okay. there's. Okay. All right. So fresh water is the blue. Okay. Is the blue. Okay. Now let's come over here, which is about elevation. So okay. this one, you might want to change the color and. I'm going to go with uh, the pink red? color. Okay, good. Okay. Pink red. red. All right, so let's look at where it's uh, the Sierra Nevada mountain range. Are you familiar with that? Okay. Where it's super, so brown is the most high. Okay. So if you circle all the, the brown and just stick with what brown is with what, go ahead. So like circle. this yes. brown? Yes, Sierra Nevada, beautiful. Okay. Take it down, take so it down. So that's one nice. mm -hmm. mountain, how far south does it go? Like? Uh, well, y yeah, not, that's good enough. It's good? great, that's okay. great. And then we have our coastal range, which is over here. And those are, are these called King? Uh, the King's Range, yeah. And yes. others like the, we've got the Marble Mountains, the Salmon Mountains, the Trinity Mountains, all kind of okay. up there. Oops, you can I tell I'm not them. from the area. No, that's <laughs> right. You're doing great. You're doing super good. How about, what's in here? Is this a different? Uh, yeah, that's like Modoc, the Siskiyou County area. So there, there's definitely mountains there as well. Okay. Now if we look, those are mountains. And so let's, let's go grassland, which is all the center. This is where we have agriculture. Okay, in. so I'm going to change okay. to green if we... I don't, we only have three colors. Okay. Um, We're limited. I'll do blue okay. again for Sounds grassland. Great. Okay, cool. Okay, so... So grassland is all this green stuff right here. So right here? Yes. And then that elevation is... A lot lower. A lot lower. Yes. And then I guess would in here be some grassland? Uh, maybe. It's a little tricky because it's lower. just... Yeah, this... Because we here we have... This is like the... And here North we are, Bay. you know... Yes. But this is not grassland Definitely not because grassland. we have, but we're just lower elevation. We do have, we have a coastal mountain range, okay. but then we also have, we have uh, lots of rivers that come down and create basically marshy sort of area, gotcha. more than grasslands. We have little areas which are fields, but it's not the same as a grassland. So the different parts that I circled, those are different ecosystems? Basically in a giant way, but, but each one of these can be divided into separate little ecosystems because okay. that mountain range, it has fresh water too. Okay, yeah. But you circled over there. I mean, you know yeah. what I'm saying? All right, so it's fairly complicated, but that's awesome. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's keep going here and here we go. I think this was, yeah. You want me to play it? Yeah, it's great. Here it okay. goes. All right, I got it. Okay, so we just talked about this, so yay for that. We'll keep going. Oh, now gorgeous. let's talk about, yay, Humboldt County. So does this look familiar? This looks like, is it shel not Shelter Cove? It could. It looks like Shelter Cove to me. Out by Petrolia? Sure. That looks, yeah, yeah. it looks really similar. So there's cliffs. Our or is this north of Eureka? Is this like Blue Lake? I don't Not think Blue Lake, I'm sorry. You mean Nobody, Trinidad? Don't Trinidad? Don't judge me for Trinidad. saying Blue Lake. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Trinidad and um, it looks, um, up north. It looks more... More like what you said. It looks more like if you went out Ferndale to Centerville Beach and that kind okay, of thing. And like Petrolia control. even. So yeah. yeah, it looks more like that. Definitely. All right. So now let's continue. Okay. Um, well, actually, if we go back to this, let's go to the actual map of Humboldt County and see what we can find. So here we go. All right. So we got one more slide to go over. Okay. Nice. All right. We got some pretty cool stuff going on here. First off, um, what is an ecosystem that you see pretty clearly? Um, anywhere. Oh golly, what did we call the mountains? Here's mountains. You just call yeah. it mountains. It's good. The, it's the mountain. mountain. Oh, whatever. Okay. Oh, and let's not forget the forest. We have that going on, and there's forests in here. There's coniferous forests like crazy. Okay. And also where we are, there's there's redwood so spruce we have, forest. Yeah, and then we have the marine ecosystem marine. right along. Yes. Okay. There as well, of course, in both those places. Wow. So we have very many different, and unless there's wetlands in there, which are another ecosystem we don't really see. So but could it be safe to say that we have the biggest span of ecosystems in our county, in the biggest state, you know? like <laughs> It's pretty impressive. No, it's true. If, it's, if we it's want the title, we're the biggest of yeah, the biggest. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, Alabama, we take you on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's amazing all the diversity we have, and that's why a lot of people come to visit our area, because they want to go kayaking awesome. and see whales, yeah. because they want to go for a hike in a mountain. We, right. it's, it's very cool. Right. All right, so let's go back to slideshow and take okay. a look. Now, how can you learn about these ecosystems? That's what we're going to find out next. Okay. Okay, so 
Here we go. First thing to do is get outside. Gotcha. So that you can see what's out there. This is a picture of Sequoia Park, and that's the duck pond. If you remember. Oh yeah, that. down yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, that's right. So this is a redwood forest. There's a lot of spruce trees in here too. But you get outdoors so you can see what there is. And then, then you see the habitat. Yes. Of the plants and the animals. That's right. And then you can identify, try to, or with somebody help you to gotcha. identify what's out there. Yeah, so I had my students, we would go outside um, in Roner Park because it was Fortuna, and that's a pretty cool place. And they would make what's called a phenology report, which is every season we would go and see what we saw. Oh, there's no leaves, or oh, there's more leaves, whatever, flowers are happening. Okay. We see now, we see bugs, we see whatever it is. So it's pretty cool to go out there. So observe the ecosystem in a different season. Yes, to see the changes that happen. It's very interesting. Cool. And you can keep a journal. Gotcha. If you want to keep a journal of how many different kinds of birds you see, if you want to look at certain insects, there's a lot to look at and it's very cool to keep a track. Now, different ecosystems that we were talking about. So if you take local trails, you can go to the Arcata Marsh nice trails. Mm -hmm. The waterfront trail, which is a six mile trail that runs from north to south Eureka, awesome. Mm -hmm. And the Headwaters Forest, which is cool inland where you're running. Right, into you a don't even have to forest. go that far to get that you do not. to the headwaters. Yeah. And then there's parks. I only listed a few, but Redwood State National Park and then Sequoia Park. And I love seeing all the different kinds of animals that are in the state parks. Yes. So. Oh, the elk. Oh, my goodness. If you go up to Oric. And oh, yeah. You don't even have to, you know, drive yeah. far into the um, state park. You see the elk right along the road. Yeah, <laughs> it's very neat. Yeah, it's something that we're not used to here. Yeah. And then if you want to make a difference, because I feel like that is, is kind of important. It makes you feel connected to your community and it makes, helps you see that you can make positive changes and things. You can join a group, and I just listed a couple of groups that I belong to, and removing trash is a way you can improve an ecosystem cool. and prevent that trash from getting into the waterways, which then gets in the Pacific Ocean. Gotcha. And yeah, it messes up the habitat for other organisms. So Pack Out Green Team is an awesome group to join. They Every Saturday for one hour, they go out and pick up trash in 9 to 10. Pretty cool. Check it out, packoutgreenteam.org. Awesome. Great, great way to volunteer and be a part. Yes, absolutely. And then volunteer trail stewards along the Eureka Waterfront Trail. You can uh, plant things, plant, plant plants like that are native plants, remove non-native plants, which we can talk about in another show. Well, and then, and, yeah. And it's a great season for us now to start planting and oh see our goodness. own plants grow and it is around us. Yeah. This was really interesting. Thank oh, you. Awesome. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm so happy to share because uh, our area is just a phenomenal with what it has to offer. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. So yeah, um, and that, the volunteer trail stewards, it depends on where you want to, I am a, somebody that runs the waterfront trail from Adorney Center to Tid Street. And okay. so each little part of the trail is broken into little parts. And Hammond Trail, have you? Awesome. Oh wait, that's you that's McKinleyville, right? Yes. Yes, well. Hammond Trail, awesome. Well, anyway, you guys, we're so happy that you tuned in. Thursday, come check us out again. We're gonna talk about more animals. Yes. We'll see you. Yay. Bye. Bye, thank you. See you.